Hello boys and girls, today we will be reading If You Give a Pig a Party. The author of our story is Lauren Numeroff and the illustrator is Felicia Bond. If you give a pig a party, she's going to ask for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. Pig looks very excited to decorate the house as she runs off with blue and orange streamers, a handful of balloons, and some yarn on her head. And on the table behind her is even more balloons, icy party hats and cups, and a gold centerpiece with lots of stars on it. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends to invite them to the party. I think Pig did a wonderful job decorating the house for the party. There are balloons everywhere, balloon animals, and streamers all over the place. And Pig looks beautiful in her colorful party dress that she took off of her doll. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. On the way, she'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. Pig looks so excited to go look for her friends as she rides in the basket of her friend's bike. They're going so fast that her party hat flies off of her head. All of her friends will be there. What a wonderful surprise for Pig to find all her friends on the bumper cars. I see her friend Cat, Rabbit, Fox, Moose, and Dog. They all look like they are having a wonderful time. Then you'll have to take her on all of the rides. She'll want to play all the games, too. It looks like they're having a wonderful time playing all the games. They're wearing big bouncy shoes to show them what it's like to be in outer space. When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes. You'll have to take her home. Oh no, it looks like Pig was having such a wonderful time eating her ice cream that she got a little too messy and got chocolate ice cream all over her beautiful dress. Her friends look very sad as she and her friend head home to change. She'll ask her friends to come along. On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. Her friends don't look sad anymore as they all ride together on the bicycle and they look like they're even having more fun playing hide and seek. It looks like Pig found a great hiding place behind a tree. Do you think her friend will find her? As you look at the picture, can you find where Pig's friends are hiding? When you finally get home, you'll have to make dinner. Then she'll want to have a sleepover. You'll have to find pajamas. The friends are having a delicious dinner of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And my goodness, all the friends made a terrible mess in the bathroom while they were washing up for bed. It looks like Cat found a yellow duck and Fox and Rabbit look adorable wrapped up in their blue and yellow towels. And blankets and pillows for everyone. When she sees the pillows, she'll probably start a pillow fight. Then she'll make a fortress out of blankets. Her and her friends made a great big fortress out of several blankets, icy green, orange, yellow, blue, red, and pink. Of course, when she's finished, she'll want to decorate it. So she'll ask you for some balloons. It looks like Pig and her friend found some extra balloons hiding underneath the party hats and centerpieces on the table. You can see that her and all of her friends are working hard to blow up all of the colorful balloons. And chances are, if you give her some balloons, she's going to ask you for a party. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this reading of If You Give a Pig a Party. If you would like to add this book to your collection, I will have it linked down below in the description box. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any uploads that I put onto my channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again in a few days with a new story. Bye-bye!